policy, or how does that work? Well, I understand yeah, you that. You have to ask him or the city the policy. But on. you're in charge of the board, right? Mm -hmm. And enforcing board policies. Duty police officers carry <laughs> but does he always carry a gun I on his head? I, I really don't know. I can answer that. Okay. Fair enough. I, you know, you might talk to him. Is he I, here? I don't know. Okay. Well, thank you. We talked to him on that, and, and, uh, but he is um, a sergeant. Yeah, he's a sergeant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, well, thank you. Check with him and see what he can tell you. I will. I understand you can't speak for him. Yeah. I, so well, just because it's a WPD question, mm -hmm. and if if you don't know the answer, it's better to say I don't know. To the source and get correct information. What would you say about allegations that the process wasn't transparent? I mean, I'm assuming you deny those statements. It's not so much denying. I don't. I don't agree. Mm -hmm. But uh, did you guys have meetings in groups of threes, or if you don't want to call them meetings, conversations in groups of threes of pertaining to the school closings? The Eagles kind of implies that you again, did. You'll have to talk, the Eagle implied you have to talk with them. I really couldn't give you more information. Than that. Okay. But no, that's not what we do. Not at all. Mm -hmm. It was transparent. We did everything uh, by the book that we were supposed to. Mm -hmm. And it's just perceived differently. So. Mm -hmm. Sure. Can you tell me why we couldn't do a 10% across the district cut yeah, rather than closing these schools? Why not? It wasn't on the table. But who put stuff on the table? Wouldn't you guys put stuff on the table? Lou Rogers mentioned at that first meeting that I went to that that was one of the options, 10% cuts. But that was the night you voted on the contingencies. Let me, let me say something, and I, and I hope that it comes across very clearly. One person cannot make a decision for an entire this one. No more than one person comes up and say, let's raise local option money. You know, but that's something that goes to the city too. So who decides, I mean, that's a good question Mike just asked you, who decides what's on the table? Do you guys, can you guys decide which choices you're going to vote on? Who decides which choices you're going to vote on? I'm not sure I'm following you. Okay, uh, at, the sec at the meeting before last week's, three options were mentioned. One was raising taxes. Lynn Rogers mentioned a 10% across the board cut. And the third one was closing five magnet schools. Only one of those was prepared with a contingency. It, it, was, it was as if there were three, three options. No, Lynn is here. If you want to get well, I know, but, but you heard him say that. If you want to get clarification, what I'm saying to you, that was not one of the options. Okay. The options were. But who gave that, you the who, options? Who decided what the options were? That that that's what's very interesting. Mm -hmm. You just who, who why gives did, why you Why did you options? only vote on that one option? That was the final recommendation. So um. so you took all the recommendations from Mr. Allison? Is that is that is he is he the one who who presented the option? One of the ones that works on the options, yes. Okay, so who else worked on the options? The board. Okay. We so, did that at focus group meetings. So why okay, was so we looked focus? at options. You looked at options, and, and, and how did you decide what was the final option? There, there are multiple things that we looked at. One of the things was economics, okay? Cool. The other was the size of the school. The other was the condition of the school. There were many things that we looked at. Uh, we when did you decide? When did you wait, 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 okay, wait, all right, wait. All right. please don't cross-examine okay. me. If, you, if I can answer your question, right. I will. Okay, I'm having a... Uh, we looked at the capacity of the building. We looked at the number of buildings that were in uh, within that area. I can't tell you there was any one thing that we factored in. There wasn't. It was multiple things that we, we looked at. And we made a decision just based on what we felt was right for the district. It has absolutely nothing to do with what, other than what we felt was right for the district. Were you ever presented with a series of options? Were you ever presented with, 
here's option one, here's option two, here's option three. Here are the reasons for... They weren't called options, they were called supposals. Supposals, okay. Um, and yes, we had several supposals. And what were the, have, what were the have, supposals? Do you have... Uh, help me again, you got family members in the district? Uh, I, I'm a taxpayer. I'm, I'm a you tax... Live I, live, I certainly do, and I, I vote for every bond issue. I may not anymore. I voted for every... I never fought that on taxes. You guys may have lost me as a supporter. And that's fine, yeah. because what I need to share with you is that when it comes to a bond issue, that's nothing that the board decides. The people in the community... Right, and you may, not, you may not have the support that you had before. Yeah. I, um, but you make, you make the assumption, you make the assumption that that was something that was put forth and decided by the school district. The community voted on right, the Right, but bond the school issue. district, the, the community didn't decide to have a bond issue. It was presented to them to vote on yes or no. And they voted, yeah, yes. But, yeah, but the idea, the idea to create a bond issue was not made by the community. It was, it was, it was presented to the community for a vote. Right. Right. We just, like, just like the hotel tax right. was. Right, exactly. It exactly. was put out there and right. you have the option of voting right. yes or no. Right. Do you think people would have voted for it if they knew that these schools were going to close? That's part of the problem. I can't speculate sure, what I understand. people would right. do. That's mm -hmm. one of the things that where the problem comes up. You mm -hmm. assume you can speak for a majority, and you can't do that. You mm -hmm. can't. Now, people voted for the bond issue based on a set of facts. Those mm -hmm. facts changed. Yes. And then we had to adjust. Mm -hmm. So it was, it's economical. That was mm -hmm. one of the main driving forces. We had to change. We had to look at efficiency. We had to look at buildings that were over capacity, under capacity. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it take to get bring a building up to a certain level? There are a number of things that, that we consider. So it has absolutely nothing to do with our knowing that um, we were going to lose $54 million. Because mm -hmm. if we had known that that was the case, then the bond issue probably wouldn't have been presented. Or the people probably wouldn't have voted. But can I say definitely that that's how it would have turned out? Yeah, you know, it's hard I can't to say. Yeah. You can't expect it. I'm really interested. So, you heard me speak about the process uh, at, the, at the last meeting. Uh, how I think it's really destructive. It, it keeps you guys from being human, presenting yourself as human beings, as feeling compassionate human beings to an audience of really concerned, in some cases frightened and upset people. Um, I'm also concerned about the decision-making process. Uh, and I, look, I, I, I'm just just between okay, you and okay, me. Okay. You guys. Well, let me really... let me throw something out at yeah. you. Let me throw yeah. a thought out. At you. How many parents were in that audience that you... Uh, okay, see, okay. No, 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 it's a fair question. I don't know, I don't know. About half, I'd say. About yeah. half were parents and half were concerned citizens. I said about how many? Yeah. Like, about give me half. a number. Give me how a number. How many people does that room seat, approximately? Well, see, you can't say half. Say 100. Because... Say 100 people. But that yeah. wasn't true. Uh, how, how, you, you tell me how many were there. Yeah, how many do you think you tell we didn't me. do a count? Just in terms of people yeah. standing... I think I'm not standing, just the people in the room. Who are ours, I can't say in the room oh, okay. because right. a large number of the people in the room oh, okay. are our staff members. Yes. Okay. So you can't right. say everybody in the room. I understand your point. I'd say there was yeah. about 20 of us that stood up, maybe okay. 25. I'd now, like to share with you. Do you know how many students we have? A lot more than 25. Yeah. I mean, seriously, yes. how many yeah. do we have? I don't know, but I understand about 50, your point. Plus. Yes. I would like to share with you what, uh, what a friend of mine. <clears throat> suggested uh, after I described to him the first board meeting I went to where there were three different possibilities you could have voted on. He asked me what was the path of least resistance. Because I couldn't understand why you guys voted the way And I said, well, if one of the options is to raise in taxes, that, that would have been a lot of resistance. If the second one was 10% across the board, that certainly would have been resistance. The easiest one, the one of least resistance, the one that you just referred to, uh, how many were in the audience? Closing five schools. So do it was easier to do. It was easier to do. Well, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Because the vote has been taken. The vote has been taken. Mm -hmm. We are proceeding. Right. 
So I'm not sure where you're going. With what I've learned from this is you guys, from for my, for my, look at it. You know what made me hostile? How you, the process made me hostile. I came to that first meeting really open to you guys. I thought we could all work together. And the way that the audience was dealt with, the, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're bad people. I am not. And I've said this, I, I reiterate this over and over again. I wasn't impugning your motives or your integrity. The process makes you guys creeps. Yeah. If it you makes had, you guys creeps. So if you had I'm spoken you. to us. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't mean it, that, but, but it makes me, you look like Bill, it. It makes Bill. you look like it. If you had spoken to us in the meeting the way you're speaking to us now, we yeah. would not have done what we exactly. call a mic check on you. Exactly. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say three things. Did you not hear me say you have three minutes? That's not the point. Yes, wait, wait, the wait, time wait, wait, limit wait. was not an issue. Did we understood, hear, did yes. Did you hear me say that? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. And at the end of three minutes, what did I say? Your time is up. That we don't... I don't think anybody's arguing the time limit it. issue. What we're arguing is the content issue. If someone has a legitimate concern or what they believe to be a legitimate concern as to transparency, I think that they should have been allowed to finish their statement. I mean, who cares what they say? We have free speech in this country. I think people should be allowed to come in there and as long as they're not profane or obscene or overly, you know, calling you guys I'm going villains. To excuse okay. myself, but sure. I'm going to sure, tell sure. you this. How did you just phrase the board? I you said guys it made you, are no. I said it made you look like yeah, creeps. I didn't we say know you you're were. Not creeps. No, I, we I know said you're twice not in my speech uh, at the last meeting. I'm not here to impugn your integrity hmm, or your character. I said that, and I said it twice, and I meant it. I'm saying the process makes you look yes. like that which you are not, but it makes you look it makes bad. You look it makes you look bad. Whereas you are obviously That's my you point. wouldn't be talking to That's us now point. if you didn't care. Yeah, right. That. And I wouldn't be talking to you if I didn't think you were reasonable. I wouldn't. It would be a waste of my the thing, time. The thing that you failed to take into consideration, I was elected to represent District 1. I understand that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was elected to do what I believe is in the best interest of District 1. Now, that gives me, that gives me the credibility to operate just that way what's in the best interest. We listen to the same individuals meeting after meeting. So when you say that we seemed inhuman, I'm going to ask you a question. Have you ever watched a rerun on television, say, same movie, over and over and over. I At some point, what, what happens? Sometimes you just kind of... I understand. That's why the okay. process exists. I okay. understand that. That's my only point. I understand. So when you talk I know why about I know how why we exists. behave, we listen to the same parents. We heard your concerns. We heard the concerns that were voiced. Did that change anything? No. But we did hear you. Now, because it didn't change anything, did not mean that I, as board president, feel that you have the right to come in to disrespect any elected official. You were disrespecting us by the way yeah, you we ran the meeting. That we you were really did. As well. I mean, I, I, then, I, then, then I will leave you with that. Okay. We'll, we'll agree. Please to examine disagree. the process. Please, we please, will, please yeah, hear this. Please this is important. Look at that process. I, I came. I came neutral. I really did. I'm, I'm pro. I'm pro school. Pro boe. I don't. I don't fight with you guys. I don't. You guys really changed me. How you operate well, no, changed. You're, you're it's not good. Welcome. I'm negative now. It's not good. You're quite welcome, and you have a good evening. You so, too. Please. I, obviously, there's nothing further that I can just say. Please, so, please reconsider so how you. that affects the people. Take care. You guys have a good day.